Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program, and um, basically just going to cut to the chase today with um, with these two wines, both both the same, different vintages. But one of the things I just wanted to show you, I don't know whether you can see that um, that there. It's probably best off. They're all tartrates, and this is not kind of crema tartar, just crystals. Doesn't mean the wine's faulty or corked, and you will see that. There's a big difference. This is the 04, and this is the 05. Now this is a diam cork, and this is a proper natural cork. And um, the diam is supposed to stop the, I guess, um, TCA, the, the thing that's blamed for cork tank. And you'll see that there hasn't been much lost at all. The allergies are pretty small, but um, these wines are made by Hatton Estate, and this is the 04. 100% Syrah, Gimlet Gravels, down there in Hawke's Bay, hot as hell. Um, now I can't really remember what 04 was like, personally, but um, hopefully there'll be a bit of kind of expression in the glass there as well. Now the, the guy that makes these, David Ramontou, his dad was um, very influential in the, in the Jurisson region in southwest France, and owns from memory uh, Domain Cohappy and um, they're one of the leaders in Jurisson. So he's now over here. He also makes kind of alluvial as well and um, I've got a feeling his wife Kate also is a winemaker down in Hawke's Bay. But Michael King, not the author or historian Michael King, but Michael King um, owns Hatton Estate and um, so we're going to do a vertical, we're going to do 04, 05, no, we've got 06 and 07 for another show. So, now this is, this is the year that David Ramontou joined the Hatton Estate winemaking team. And um, this 04 was his first vintage, and then you got 05 here. Now, what I'm spelling on 04, is a bit of dirtiness, it's tar, it's... You'd almost be forgiven th for thinking that this was almost Australian. This um, should be decanted. Oh, jeez. This is really French kind of dirty, almost Rhone. This is, um, it's just got quite a lot of fruit. It's quite a big, big wine, but silky soft and smooth in the, in the palate, on the, on the palate, I should say. Jeez. On the palate, you get this really intense, dark black fruit, and then it's just slightly lifted with a little bit of kind of red fruit as well. Then you get this kind of savory mealiness. Not bad. I'm going to give that kind of 88 points. Now this is also, it's a much heavier bottle. This is a, a real kind of heavy bottle. Now they only make, from memory, 160 cases of this stuff, of which they keep 40 from themselves. So there's not actually a lot out there on the market. Retails for Anyway, you can see this is the 05. Retail is for anywhere between 50 and $60. So not cheap, not everyday drinking. Now this, this is much more Hawke's Bay. Right off the nose, you get that kind of real white pepper. This didn't see any white pepper at all. This just saw kind of like deep, dark, kind of almost Bendigo Syrah. This is much more aromatic on the nose. White pepper, a bit of kind of plum, a bit of red raspberry, and a kind of savouriness that kind of like just rounds it all off, just takes the edges off those um, that square corner.
a lot younger, a lot tighter, a lot more aromatic, a lot more going on right now. Especially in terms of the kind of the amount of fruit and weight. I've got to say that Hawks Bay doesn't really make much better than that. 90, I'm going to give that 92 points. It's just the, the, the palate weight and the experience. Of, this is the wine that you'd want to take abroad and show people and showcase kind of, for me, what Gimlet Gravels can do. It's almost, I was going to say, Kornas in experience. It's beautifully knitted together. Everything's just tight and perfect and balanced and there's no, there's no kind of alcohol or oak showing through it. It's just everything is harmonious. So, 92 points, pretty good. Pretty damn good. Anyway, geez, I've just, I'm all over the place with the wine. Um, so uh, hopefully that's been a, a little show to you. And um, you can actually see the difference in the shape of the bottle there. And um, we'll wait to do the others and then we'll just do the, hopefully the best of the, of the best of the four vintages. Anyway, adios.